Hello guys and welcome back into this video. In this video, I want to take a look at the market and how we are at a very, very interesting level. And are we getting signs of a potential reversal to the upside to fill the gap to the upside? Now, in this video, I will be talking about SPY and we also have a very you know, major catalyst tomorrow at pre-market. And then I also want to keep you guys updated on McDonald's. If you guys enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe and just make sure to leave a like. You know, all I'm asking in return is to just leave a like. Now, let's get started with the SPY. To me, SPY looks very, very interesting, okay? I want to zoom in a little bit and I want to focus on this candle, okay? Right now, we are, you know, this is an insider candle. So this candle is you know inside the previous candle and basically we are just looking to trade sideways and to looking to actually consolidate i want to zoom out a little bit and this kind of reminds me you know of the previous low so keep in mind that we are at a major major level okay this is a crucial crucial level um of the market now i'm taking a look over here you know two times we have right over here two times right over here and what i want to see is some sort of consolidation okay the worst thing that can happen is us breaking this level of support so over here Okay, 364, around 364. Okay, this is our previous low. Okay, again, this is a crucial, crucial level of support. If we start breaking this, things are going to be very, very ugly. So for the market, for the SPY, one thing that we as bulls have to watch is that SPY holds 362. Because if we start breaking this there will be a lot of panic okay panic that we are breaking the previous level of supports and overall it will not look good so we really need to hold 362 if you are a bear okay you need to go below 362 but this is a major major level of support okay we could see that we don't have you know any level of support before this level of support okay we have to all the way you know go back over here so this will cause a lot of panic and i'm pretty sure a lot of people who kind of you know bought and spy over here have a stop loss over here so this will also you know cause and trigger a major stop loss effect to the downside now one thing positive that we saw today was volume okay we saw volume you know creeping up this is you know good because we are seeing you know potentially people buying up the dip we are seeing you know kind of more attention um to the stock you know more buying pressure potentially but this is a major level of support now i want to take a look at history okay consolidation you know phases this to me looks like a potential consolidation phases because right now again we are in a insider candle okay this is inside the previous candle for the spy now you know let's take a look at spy and something po another positive thing also happened today so at open you know right around open we were actually up over one percent for the spy okay the whole market was actually green around market open and i want to take a look at why we couldn't hold that level now let's take a look at the five minute so on the five minute you know for the spy we had a massive massive nice uh run up we had massive volume spikes and right around when we hit the level of gap okay so this is the level of gap we rejected this and you know went all the way back down to this level of support now this is very very important okay because as i take a look at the chart we have a very nice level of gap and if we do reverse okay this is going to be our price target 373 we have a very nice level of gap to fill now we have a resistance okay 370 dollars is a nice mental level of resistance and then that is also the gap entry now if you guys don't know what gaps are you know gaps are caused by pre-market and aftermarket movement and the spy has a lot of these gaps okay as you can see we have a lot of these gaps and typically if the gap is big enough these gaps do get filled you know it's a matter of time before 
they get filled now not all gaps uh, get filled but most of them do once we start entering this so this is going to be very very important because the bulls you know need to fill this gap so overall this is you know with, with spy just hold this level, level of support we have a nice level of resistance we have a nice gap and it'll be very very interesting on how things go now let's take a look at McDonald's because as you guys know I am in McDonald's I'm down over two uh, around 20 percent um, down on McDonald's and I only have one call but today you know it was a very very interesting day you know obviously we kind of just you know hit a previous low but what I'm taking a look um, at for McDonald's is the volume okay we saw a nice volume spike today so I'm you know as I said in my last video on my McDonald's video I wanted to see volume to come up and overall I'm seeing you know some you know chances of volume actually coming up and today we saw a very nice volume spike now I did move my support so I did move my support for McDonald's and I want to talk about why so comparison to McDonald's we have this very nice level of support but I also want to watch spy so I'm going to be watching spy and McDonald's together so we're taking a look at you know spy and McDonald's are actually very very similar because we are sitting at a major level of support McDonald's is sitting at a major level of support and spy is sitting at a major level of support so for spy I'm also watching this level with McDonald's so if spy closes below on the daily time frame below this level of support around three hundred and sixty two dollars that is going to be another confirmation of our stop loss so that is what I wanted to keep you guys updated on McDonald's to watch spy and McDonald's together because the spy is the overall market now we have that covered with McDonald's the next thing that I want to talk about is again we have a lot of uncertainty you know going into the McDonald's play we agreed that we were holding through these major catalysts that are coin flips okay we don't know if you know Powell is going to say something good about the economy or something bad about the co uh, economy or if the consumer confidence report is going to be good or bad you know these are risks that we took but again I only had one contract okay the risk you know we took should be balanced out and overall that is it you know very very simple video I'm down 20 percent out of McDonald's Tomorrow is going to be a very, very interesting day because if we have another red day tomorrow for the spy and for McDonald's, you know, we'll have to, you know, close out of our McDonald's position. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video and, you know, again, see you guys later. Bye bye.